Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. All right, so here is a Brazilian who has really taken this light heavyweight division by storm. Johnny Walker back for more here tonight. And the moment he got to the UFC, Johnny Walker made a beeline towards the top 15 in the world from finishing Khalil Roundtree with a beautiful elbow to the flying knee and the punches that he landed to finish against Misha Serkinov. You cannot start any better than Johnny Walker has started up to this point. He had three first round finishes, all of them sub two minutes. He oh. believes he's ready for this division's elite. And I think tonight's result, tonight's performance could give us some answers as to just how high the ceiling is for Johnny Walker Blue. joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Both fighters are 28. Walker is three inches tall. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 18 wins, five losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, presenting the challenger, Johnny Walker. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Yuri Denisa. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? All right, you ready? Let's go. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Hands higher, hands higher. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Punch over the top. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Game of inches right there, Damn boy. It. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Great punch. Oh, huge right hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Try to establish that jab. Three minutes now to go in this one. And both guys really throwing with authority. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And just misses with that big right hand. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. So just over 20 total strikes have already connected for Johnny Walker. And they separate. Good stick. A oh, little single collar tie there. And now he's got the tie clinch. Muay Thai plump. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut. Under two minutes to go. Now connects with a right. Nice elbow. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Wow, huge head kick. Throwing hard in the pocket. Just missed with the left there. And he landed the right hand there. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, he's, he's got him hurt here. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, a huge block there. Big knee to the body. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Got the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Beautiful strike. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. All right, here, final seconds of round one. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Here we are, early round two. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, collar tie. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Beautiful punch. Blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Ooh. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And he switches to southpaw. Checks the leg kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Visibly limping here. Just over three minutes to go. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Just misses with a left hook there. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Just out of range with that left hook. Big knee there to the chest. Oh! Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. What a punch. Oh. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. And now he's got that tight clinch. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big punch lands through the middle. Throws the right hand there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He is getting Whoa. lit up right now, John. Holy smokes. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart 
One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ready for the official decision, Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Johnny. Well, DC, I don't know if you agree, but for me, there are a few things as exciting in this sport as when we crown a new UFC champion and we got a new light heavyweight king tonight. Man, I don't know if there's anything that excites the fans, that excites the masses more than a new guy getting the belt wrapped around his waist. He knew this moment would come. He finally has achieved 